This uh, movie is about an automatic analyzer designed to demonstrate the effect of specific electromagnetic signals on a biological system. In this experiment, the detecting system is uh, mixing plasma with water that has been informed with the signal of heparin. The latter will delay or inhibit plasma coagulation, whereas a control signal applied to water will not show this effect. Now you see the general layout of the system. There is a computer that will deliver the signal, the amplifier with a tester on the top of the amplifier. On the right you see the automatic analyzer itself including a spectrophotometer with a, a 96 well plate. On this view you can see in the front the rack with empty tubes. Behind it disposable tips that are black and behind it an ice box uh, containing the plasma. On the left the small cylinder contains water added with calcium chloride at a concentration adjusted to start the coagulation of plasma after around 15 minutes. And the copper cylinder on the back contains the coil that will deliver the signal to the water. Now the machine is working, is picking up a tip, then we'll take a tube, empty tube, put it into the car. Then we'll get water, add it to this tube, and then a second time, a second uh, aliquot of water that is added to the tube. And then, during five minutes, this tube will be submitted to the signal. We have obviously skipped the five minutes. And the machine will now take another tip, get this tube with the informed water, and put it back in place. Then, it will collect a second tube and do exactly the same. Now water is being dispensed into the tube. Five minutes, another signal. And these signals are played blind, they are coded by the computer. Now the second tube has been put back into the rack and the same thing will be done for the third one. Back into the coil, water into it. Twice. And again, the computer will deliver the signal for five minutes. Get the tube back. Put it back in the third position. Remove the tip. Get another tip, a new one. Get the fourth tube. You see that this machine is very clever. Knows exactly what to do. the water and again five minutes. Now four signals have been played. There are two water and two heparin which are coded. So the operator and the machine don't know which is which.
Now it's collecting the plasma and we'll put it in front. Each sample is always 200 microliter, so that will be 200 plus 200, 400 microliters. Then we'll do the same for the second tube. Twice. The third tube. That's the plasma. And you can see the syringe moving up and down. That is uh, aspirating and uh, what would you say, rejecting or spitting out the volume. Okay, now it will, the machine will mix the water, 200 microliter, with 400 microliter of plasma. So there will be a one-third dilu dilution of the plasma. And mix it repeatedly. Thoroughly. Okay, that's the first tube that uh, is well mixed. Alright, and we'll now eject the... It will dispense now, uh, sorry, the uh, content of this mixed first tube into um, two wells of the 96 well plate, which is waiting uh, on the um, plate of the, of the spectrophotometer. So after the mixing, same thing for the second one. And uh, an aliquot will be delivered to the well. In fact, it is, uh, you can see the three first well have been uh, not filled, but there is some water in it, and you can see it. It's a 160 microliter in each well. And same thing for the third one. Mixing. Okay, now the fourth one. You can see that every time the the arm picks up a tip, it gives uh, two small hits, so that the tip is uh, well fit into the plastic, uh, the white plastic cone. Otherwise, there could be some leakage. Now mixing again on the fourth one and back to the plate.
Okay, now the eight uh, wells have been uh, filled up with the mixture water plasma. The plate is going inside of the machine and it will be measured every two minutes for one hour. And this is what appears on the computer. Now we are reaching the end and uh, the plate will go out after one hour. This figure shows uh, the effect of uh, heparin and control uh, signals on blood coagulation. Coagulation is monitored by increased in optical density. The two steep curves on the left, black and uh, green, are uh, the effect of uh, the water signal and the heparin protamin signal respectively, protamin being an inhibitor of heparin. The two curves down, which show a strong inhibition of uh, plasma coagulation, are uh, practically superimposable. This effect is typical of the presence of heparin, except that there is no molecular heparin but only the signal of it that has been played to the water then mixed with the plasma. On this final view you are looking at the machine as it is in real life. It is uh, shielded behind an uh, iron uh, shield that encaged it completely so as to protect it from electromagnetic, unwanted electromagnetic fields. We have uh, two machines like that. Uh, the second one will be moved from uh, labs, labs to labs and we expect even to be able to buy a third one. One of them should be put in uh, a lab in the UK, the other one in the United States. And then uh, we expect these experiments to be replicated in uh, several uh, high-level uh, laboratories all over the world.